Our sun is a giant spinning ball of hot turbulent plasma that creates strong magnetic fields. The motion of the plasma, under the influence of gravity and the electromagnetic force, creates sunspots and solar eruptions, which have a significant effect on the Earth. Exactly how this happens is not yet entirely understood. Turbulent hot plasma is very difficult to describe mathematically, but over the past decade, computer calculations have dramatically improved our understanding of the Sun. Nordita researchers have recently developed a computer simulation that successfully explains many observations. This is Professor Axel Brandenburg's group gathering for one of its weekly meetings, an important part of their routine. Every week we have this meeting to talk about what we have done last week. And usually it's like that, so it okay, I, I, yes. I did this, I had this problem, and sometimes it's like that you ask people to help you in problem you have, and then they, people start to give you some ideas, and it's really useful. One of the most difficult parts of our work is that it's a long-term work. I mean, you are going to present your thesis in four years, so maybe you can lose the goal of what are you doing. It's good to feel a feel pre uh, to feel little pressure in a short term. Nordita was represented at the annual Physics Day in Kungstredgården, the Royal Park in downtown Stockholm, where many major public events take place. The occasion gave Nordita the chance to reach a public of various ages. Well, I think it's very nice, and for the kids, they have fun and they actually meet an understanding and an explanation of the physical problems uh, for the first time. I think it's very good. Your son, for example. My son, for example. <laughs> he wants to know. <laughs> this is a good way to show what they are doing and uh, to show the result, which really helps to understand the theory. It makes interest for, for people, for young people, for children. This was also a chance to emphasize the importance of understanding more about the sun's plasma knowledge that can help prepare us better for solar storms that can disrupt telecommunication, cause power outages, and pose radiation hazards affecting flight safety. Space weather, as it's called, uh, such things are not fully operational yet. And one of the reasons is that we don't fully understand where the magnetic fields come from. Are they generated at the bottom of the convex, deep inside the sun, or are they perhaps generated closer to the surface? There is a new development in our group where we now believe uh, the magnetic fields are actually generated very close to the surface. This is a completely new phenomenon and it looks extremely promising. Look at this for example. This is here a simulation of a three-dimensional simulation. It's a three-dimensional box with turbulence as we believe it's operating at the surface of the sun. Here is the sun and you see little, little spots. They are very small. Uh, they occur on two different latitudes, north and south, just like here on Earth. Uh, where do they come from? We have a global model for the Sun which actually explains uh, about the equator two different such magnetic belts. The magnetic fields come in alternating with alternating signs. This is very successful already. But how do we get spots? And that's our latest achievement, we believe. We uh, simulate this in isolation. We can't put this into the full three-dimensional sphere yet. Uh, and after a long runtime, completely spontaneously, without putting any spot in, we find a spot. And we are extremely proud of this accomplishment. This is amazing. And we need to work much more on this now. And this has direct consequences for us on Earth. If you are flying on an aircraft, and all of a sudden the aircraft says we are delaying our flight, or we are going on a longer route across the, across the Atlantic, simply because we want to evade the solar storm. And of course, the public wants to know, can we predict those phenomena? The useful the uh, end of our research is pretty clear and has a direct impact on life.